Alright, so after watching some GCN videos about weight loss and how people get eating disorders who are cyclists, seeing some other vegan people who've done, said they've had eating disorders um, while being vegan, etc. I thought I'd make a quick video about my thoughts about this and like what I have seen slash experienced. I think like, number one, there's a lot of eating disorders within cycling because let's be honest, you need to be as light as possible. Like it's genuinely one of the only sports where like if you lose a kilo, you genuinely will go faster like 99% of the time. So it actually makes a massive difference. It's not like a different sport where like you might lose a kilo, but it won't have that much difference. While cycling, like it just will, especially if you're going like a hill climb season. It's like you're only going uphill, nothing else matters drop a kilo, you're going to go faster. So it just becomes an obsession of losing weight. And that's also obsession about the bikes, but obsession about yourself. And I think some people like that can become obsessive. They have obsessive personalities and like to do that thing of becoming obsessive about something. And they choose for that to be food and then become obsessed. Ben King was the person GC. I definitely watched the GCN video. It's really good. And he was just saying like he basically was training that outrageous amount, never rested um, and was losing as much weight as possible. It wasn't good. He didn't really perform that well. Um, and then talking about the vegan things, well, there's just a fair few of them who just don't really eat enough, don't really do anything with their lives, make no, make no videos, which are all like, don't really just like ride the bike march, just do nothing, but they're quite lean. So yeah, I mean, I, I think the main thing for me is just like, and what almost everyone says, like be a little bit heavier, it's all calm. Uh, you might go a little bit slow on the bike, but you'll actually be able to live. Like let, let's be honest, when you're not, not eating enough, you can't really live a proper life. Like if you're a pro cyclist, fair play, because to be honest, like you've got nothing else to do. Like your job is to be as light as possible and have as much power as possible so fair enough like then you can just literally carry a straight and then just do nothing else the rest of the day apart from ride your bike well if you actually want to be a fully functioning member of humans of society then i feel like if you just carry a straight it's just not really going to happen like you're not going to ha live as good as you can yeah for sure like you have you might have to do it if you really want to get lean for just one race in a year yeah fair enough like i understand that but i think just trying to do it the whole time is just not really like a good good problem um and then I, I just think the whole the whole thing the vegan thing a lot i think a lot of people who become vegan have eating disorders already or just like a bit weird about eating in my experience generally um i met a fair few like like around the place and just a lot of them are quite odd like then just sort of have these weird eating or, or disorders and then they're just sort of like oh uh, now i can restrict even more foods and then just be like oh i'm gonna go vegan oh, i'm gonna go raw vegan oh, i'm like juice cleanse and all this stuff it's like Let's be honest, like, what's the point? Like, there's, like, a limit. Like, vegan, you're, like, fair enough. Ethics, very fair. Health, okay. But, but, like, the main thing, I think, is if you're done for the ethics, then the health is, like, oh, it's a bonus. Well, I think a lot of these people go just for the health, and then if it doesn't happen 100%, they get upset. They're, like, oh, no, you know, it must be the cooked food I'm eating. Gotta get rid of that. Let's go raw. It's, like, yeah, but like, let's be honest, being raw now is you spend all your time eating, and it's just absolute disaster. Like, I just don't really get it. And then obviously people burn out because they try and ride the bike and then don't eat any food. And then it's like, well, yeah, it's, it's not going to be a good good solution. And then it's just a lot of like people who just, I think, are quite orthorexic who are vegan. -ness, like in my experience um, of people who just are like get crazily obsessed. And like I can understand it for a limited amount of time. Like if you're really concentrating on something, then fair enough. Like I get that because it happens to all of us. But I think a thing that like people do it's like if it's not your job if it doesn't really define you like why are you making it such a big thing like it just doesn't really make any sense to me like oh yeah i feel better it's like if you're worrying about how like what you eat all day surely that's not gonna make you feel better surely it's better just to be more chilled out just be like yeah okay fine i'll have a donut it doesn't matter as long as it's vegan it's all chill instead of being like I can't I never have a donut only eat raw raw till four like wait till four. Oh, it's 401 i can eat cooked food it's like mate like what boring life you live just chill out a little bit and just like have a good life and i think it's just unless you have something very important it just doesn't make sense to me and then people just get in this obsession like oh once i'm lean oh i want to stay lean all year round it's like well yeah but that's just not natural is it oh i'm just only going to eat raw food like oh you know no oil at all it's like well it's just not a very sustainable way to live is it like let's be honest um so anyway there's my thoughts i just think a lot of it is just a bit a bit of like just people's minds get obsessed with things and fair enough maybe you do have an obsessed mind but i think at the same time it's like you just need to chill out just think about the wider perspective like in five years time if you're like have a massive eating disorder can't eat and get scared of eating is that really worth it because you're slightly leaner for a race like obviously not 
um, it's better just to live like a more sustainable life and yeah you might go like two seconds slower up a climb but like does that actually matter like if it's your job fair play if you're gonna, suddenly going to win a million and it's going to change your life then fair enough get it but if it's because you're going to move up one place in a hill climb it's like, or one place in a road race that's like an amateur road race and it doesn't really matter like going 13th or 14th or whatever and like a nap B is like well big boohoo like it's not it's not going to change it's change your life that much let's be honest um but i mean obviously you want to take it seriously but i think there's a limit um and when the limit is your like when it comes to your health and like if you're going to be a healthy person or not then obviously just like oh on the side of yeah i want to be like functional in a couple years times so anyway there's my thoughts hope you enjoy them what are your thoughts below um like i mean i i just feel like it's something that no one ever talks about i mean there's people like i mean i think one thing like Saigon so Cam did thing where he's like they had a Q&A on Instagram and said how do you stop eating so much he said drink sparkling water and I was just like mate like why like just just like genuinely why would you re recommend that advice to anyone it's just stupid because you're just then going to be like oh I need to restrict the whole time oh I'm going to drink sparkling water instead of being hungry it's like just pointless like things like that I'm just like you're just perpetuating an eating disorder which all cyclists are going to get so maybe you should just like not recommend things like that and maybe instead just try and have a more sustainable way of living and not getting obsessed by things but anyway those are just my thoughts leave your thoughts below and I'll see you in the next vid